Anytime you want to see God, then you are talking by faith. And anytime you want to see the devil, you are talking by fear. Fear is the introduction of the devil into your life. And faith is the introduction of God into your life. In the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 3, the Bible said, And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. That is the foundation where I said, Anything that is created val word, it is only word also that can fix it. God said he created or he separated the earth from the waters and create earth, right? Val the word. And then the Bible said, in the midst of it, darkness was upon the surface and then a lot was happening. That was not right. He said, let there be light and there was light. Whatever you are today, it is the product of your words yesterday. Whatever you are today is what? The product of what you said yesterday. There's a thin line between worry and thinking. When you worry, I mean when you are disturbed, there's a thin line between being disturbed and having positive thought. Now, when you are disturbed, you are worried. Do you know what you are doing? You are using your mind to create problem. And then when you think, you are using your mind to solve problem. So, what are you using your mind to do? To magnify problems or to solve problems? You can be bigger than this. You can be more than this. You can be enlarged, but it is a product of your mind. And if you conceive it, you will say it. The quality of people you move around with, when they open their mouth to talk, you know if they are positive, progressive, or not. That's why your company has a lot to do in your growth. You know one beautiful thing? There's this saying. They said, a friend of a rich man is a rich man. Damn it. You can be a friend of a rich man and be poor. Because if you are rich or somebody is rich beside you, are you studying the person to underline the secret that makes the person or you are rubbing shoulder with the person saying, this is my friend. We are all friends. You know, the problem is we have opportunities, but we don't know what to make out of those opportunities. There are people you don't rub shoulders with. You learn from them. You honor them to be able to learn. See, when you are built up in your mind, to build up in your life will be easy. Every success began from here. Every failure began from here. You look at your kid and say, wow. You don't look like somebody who is going to make it in life with the way you behave. Trust me, that's a prophecy. It can come to pass. And you look at your husband, you said, oh God, I don't know why on earth did I marry you. then you will never know why on earth you marry him. <laughs> but if you look at that man and say, praise God, you are a discovery in my life. God has given you to me to find out something about you. I'm telling you, one day the best of that man will come out. What are you saying to your wife? What are you saying to your husband? What are you saying to your job? Oh, this job, this job, is, it's a useless job. You see that, my boss? Oh, that, my boss, is a useless man. As you keep saying that, that man can never be useful to you because you are prophesying into the life of that man to be useless. So, if you keep saying, you see that my job is going to give me millions of dollars 
it will happen someday. You see that my boss, he will recommend me for a higher position one day. It will happen. But tonight, I came to challenge you to build up something in your spirit that you can prophesy about. Because sometimes it's not that we don't prophesy. But do you prophesy what truly is in your mind? Pastor said, praise the Lord, everybody's going to be fine. I say, oh, praise the Lord. The pastor said, I'm going to be fine today. And if you're not fine that day, your faith will drop. But if you tell yourself, I am going to be fine, no matter what it is. If that day come, you are not fine, you say, tomorrow I'll be fine. If tomorrow come, you are not fine, say, next tomorrow I'll be fine. You keep saying it until the reality is in your hands. Until you have a revelation, an encounter by yourself, my revelation can carry you to your destination. I can encourage you. You feel good. Maybe I look at my sister and I say, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is telling me something, and I prophesy into your life to be exciting. But when challenges come, that excitement will disappear. Your faith will follow and every other thing will follow and you won't get nothing. But if you have a relationship with God and he reveals something to you, you will hold on to it tight. Nobody should take you to your father. You should go to your father. You must constantly prophesy into your life. 